Marvel Machine X, Mental Malfunction or Mouth-watering Marvel? Let's try to find out! A couple episodes ago you saw me building this long rail with these moving pivot points. This is the support rail for the vibraphone. And in this episode, we're going to test our design for these, the vibraphone arms that will hold these, the vibraphone plates. So the 11 arms goes on here and it has a special ball knob there, which corresponds to a fitting on the plate holder. So we can slid the notes in place like that, and then we can slid them out. This is for me to be able to change the notes during a concert or in the studio so I can play music in different scales. On the first machine I could only play G major or E minor and on the Marble Machine X I will be able to play in any musical scale I want. This function has been very important for the music, but given us a lot of design issues. Shout out to Richard and Alex who has made a great job on this. The aim with today is to evaluate this design and send feedback back to the team so we can order all the pieces for the vibraphone. We have 37 different notes and we need 37 individual holders. So we want to get that right before we manufacture all 37. So this project has been ongoing in the background for a long time. As you can see, they're all individual, of course. And also these mounting holes are all individuals. We had 37 and I made an Excel sheet with all these measurements. 64.5, left down, 67.6, two down, 35 to go. <laughs> and I sent them to Richard and he made a flat design. Richard made a parametric CAD model so we can update all 37 individual pieces easily. And we laser cut them flat and then Alex have bent these test pieces like so. So here's the laser cut flat arms and here they're welded together into final shape. This piece corresponds with this piece and that's where the clicking action comes in. Super easy to click in and out, but feels absolutely sturdy enough. With F and F sharp, I can already play the theme from the movie Jaws. So here you can see they etched the note names into these holders with laser etching. So this pivot function allows the notes to move a little bit when hit, like a Disney self-playing piano. And to be able to hold this up, we're gonna have a spring steel like this. So the spring steel is resting on this little block here. And this block is adjustable by this set screw in the back. Seven. The sound of this ratchet is just too good. Let's try to mic it closer with <laughs> So it's only one set screw, as you can see here. And if this is not enough tension, I can just open this one set screw, roll the thing to whatever degree I need, and we have more resistance. So even with only one note on here, I already get a feeling what a visual centerpiece this vibraphone is going to be on the Marble Machine X. Imagine on the world tour when the technicians comes in and just removes 11 notes of the vibraphone and put 11 new ones. Adjust the length of the resonator pipes <laughs> for the new scale and off we go with the next hit. So the distance from this hole down to the bottom is a little bit too small. So the plate is bottoming out. 
And I also don't have the real elastic. This was just something I found that I'm using temporarily. Just to be able to do the test, I'm gonna do a real dirty quick fix. So now the marble hit won't bottom out the plate. So the name vibraphone comes from a vibrato of the tone made by a flap inside a resonator pipe. We don't have the circulating flap and we don't have the resonator pipe. That's why this is not sounding like a vibraphone and that's why I'm begging you to not think about the sound too much. Test 7. Check this out. If you draw a straight line from the first vibraphone note, it hit exactly between this and this marble drop channel and I have managed to align it perfectly. So the CAD design works. First try. Okay, that's actually exactly bullseye first try. You can call me bullseye first try from now on. This took me a couple of minutes to find a perfect path. Problem is the second marble coming and needs to hit the same point. I might have celebrated too early like those bikers who put their arms up before the goal line only to fall and see themselves getting passed by everyone. Uh, because I have some double hits. There you go, double hit. I didn't have it at first. Double hit. Double hit is when the marble bounces here and then also hit the plate there. This is a really big angle here now. Okay. Oh, that's really good. But this angle is not what I wanted. I'm gonna get some silicone and try instead of this. Okay, the bounce is awesome. The sound is completely dead. I have a temporary workaround experiment going on here. So let me backtrace what actually been happening here. A few videos back, I tested extensively how the marbles can jump from the middle of the plate and clear the plate. And found out to use this kind of rubber to make an extra bounce and to dampen the sound. But I only tested on shorter notes. So you can see a higher note on the vibraphone is much shorter than the longest one. So I totally oversaw that and it's so emblematic for the kind of problems that are occurring constantly <laughs> during this process. I think I've thought through everything and I'm like, yeah, I really tested it and I miss on something this stupid. So what is happening is that the marble is bouncing here and hitting somewhere here. So I actually made a little workaround that hurts my perfectionistic sense, but maybe saves this marble machine. I need to be able to do simpler, more stupid solutions and be less perfectionistic to ever finish this. Otherwise there will be no more Vintagata music in the world. This plastic is not touching the vibraphone plate. So the marble is bouncing here and then hits the plastic and then falls into the funnel. Emblematic for this whole design process that I overlook simple things like that. When I think I think of it everything. With thick silicone I did get the marble to bounce really high but that really killed all the sustain of the note. Having this solution will let me focus on the sound and a good sound is more important than a beautiful marble bounce. <laughs> So manually it works. 
I know it does not help to tell you to not think about the sound on this vibraphone. If you would look at a house construction where they only pour the concrete base, and then you would say, I wouldn't want to live in a house without walls. <laughs> That's basically the state of this vibraphone, right? Yeah, but the living room looks a little bit drafty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I know, I know this doesn't help. I'm going to make a little program to test these two channels. I just want to comment on how well this magnetic programming system is working. I can program it like this while actually uh, using the treadle pedal to move the machine forward. I can read this pattern so I know what to notice what. Unmute. Here comes the programming. So the most common audio misunderstanding that happens every time someone sees a Vintage on Wednesday video is the worry that all the mechanical noises are overshadowing the music instruments. But even the vibraphone will have good signal to noise ratio because you can put contact microphones even on vibraphones. Professional vibraphonists often use contact microphones even in the studio actually. There's no question that it sounds awful right now but what I'm trying to tell you it's not a nice house because it has no walls I wouldn't want to live there that's a perfect analogy here is half of the notes they vary a lot in size so we need to make 37 individual holders and the most adventurous thing of everything is that once we have a resonator pipe and once we change this tone for this tone live we also have to change the length of the resonator pipe live on stage. <laughs> and that's why my ideas, who seem so simple at first, just snowballs into something. Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> my tests led to several changes that we're gonna make. So this is the original CAD design, the green version. This gray is my new alteration. So I will send this to Richard and he with his godlike CAD skills will make all the 37 real ones and Alex is ordering them right now and I hope we're gonna be able to mount them on the Marble Machine X as soon as possible. <laughs> Pro? <laughs>